right, today we are doing some DIY crafts. With us being in lockdown, might as well make some use out of it. Mask on. Okay, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this thing to work, and we have our first test print. That completely failed. All right, so we are back at trying to make these t-shirts. We had a little bit of trouble with the printers, but we finally got it to work. <laughs> she laying on the spot, bro. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> right now we're about to transfer over to the t-shirts. Iron on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. Yeah. So much time. We have no excuse. So maybe you just need to get those corners a little bit, right? Yeah. I think it just. I think it just needs to be hotter, dude. Oh no way. He's good. He's good. actually staying on too. Yeah? Oh, we're in business, baby. Seen uncut gems. Oh yes. fuck! I'm, I'm gonna fucking go. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna come. And hey, fuck you, man. Bro, this I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking beautiful. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I did it perfectly. You did. You did perfectly. This is my photo. This is my photo on film. Is, Black and white. It's clean, man. Bro, this is... It came out so well. Paris, I love you. My heart. All right, so we are back after finishing up these DIY shirts. I just wanted to check in here, tell you guys a little bit more about the process and then show you guys the final results. So first off, the entire process was actually super cheap. All of the materials needed to make these shirts will cost you less than $30. All right, so first off, what you're going to need is obviously going to be a t-shirt. We purchased these at Michael's for around $10. You can get any brand you like. However, I recommend getting something that's actually pretty decent quality because it's gonna be something that you wanna wear consistently as well as maintain its color throughout washes. Secondly, you're going to need what is known as transfer paper. You may have seen on TikTok that you can actually just use saran wrap. However, we tried this and it was a complete disaster. I don't recommend trying this and just getting transfer paper. Now put it simply, there are two different types of papers that you can purchase. The first one is going to be dark fabric and the second one is going to be light fabric. So if you're printing on any black, navy, maybe a gray t-shirt, then you're gonna need to get the dark transfer paper. If you're printing on any white, cream, or tan colors, then you can go with the light transfer paper. Now that you have the materials out of the way, the second step is going to be finding the right graphics. And honestly, this is totally up to your personal preference. You can print whatever you like and basically put it on a t-shirt 
shirt. I just did some graphic tees as well as a couple of my own photos. However, there is one caveat when it comes to actually printing your pictures. Now, I'm just gonna tell you straight up what exactly you need to do because it took me so much hassle to try and figure this out that I don't want you guys have to go through that process. If you are printing on dark transfer paper, and I repeat, dark transfer paper for dark t-shirts, you do not have to flip your image. If you're printing on light transfer paper, then you do have to flip your image. The reason being the process is actually completely opposite for both types of paper. So if this is your t-shirt and this is your transfer paper, you need to reverse your image because you're going to place it face down, meaning that you're gonna to need to flip the image horizontally to make sure that the image is showing up correctly. However, if you're printing on dark transfer paper, you do not need to flip it because you're gonna be placing it straight on and then ironing so you don't have to worry about the photo being mirrored. So once you have finalized your designs, my only recommendation is that you wanna kinda of go with something that's going to be a box shape. I learned that if you're trying to do something that's a lot more intricate and has a lot more cutouts, then it's just not gonna look as clean. So framing it in a rectangle or a box is going to give you a much better result. Now you are ready to print. And first off, I definitely recommend test printing before you actually use a transfer paper so that you can ensure that the dimensions and the color are correct. Now, when I was trying to print, the color wasn't working the way I wanted it to. So for the time being, I only printed black and white. However, the process is completely the same for colored images. Next up, after you print out your images, you're gonna cut them out. Definitely don't mess this step up because it's going to be what is actually going to go on your t-shirt. And then finally, you are ready to iron. You wanna set it to cotton on the highest heat and then you're gonna use wax paper. Lay your shirt down, put your image on top, put the wax paper on top, and then you're gonna iron it on for about two minutes. After that two minutes, let it cool for about 30 seconds and then take a look. If you peel a corner and the image does not look like it's transferred at all, go back with the wax paper and keep on ironing until that image transfers over. And finally, you wanna make sure that you apply pressure throughout the entire process. If you have followed all of these steps correctly, then congratulations, you're gonna have some really fucking fire t-shirts. My reaction when I did my first one correctly was crazy. So without further ado, let's run through them. First one is going to be this fucking fire Paris shirt. This says Paris Je Tem, which means Paris, I love you with my name under it. This is actually a photo that I took while I was in Paris on a film camera. So I'm super happy with how this one turned out. Another one I did on a white t-shirt is going to be this Dior X ASAP Rocky shirt that is honestly super fire. But if you see, it's actually kind of crooked, right? Like it's not completely centered. So I definitely should have paid more attention on that one. But regardless, it looks fire. Next up, this might be my favorite one, but we had to do it to him. We got that Mr. Champagne Poppy on this black t-shirt. He's wearing this Supreme Louis Vuitton jacket and I just had to get that on a black t-shirt like this. Finally guys, I'm a little bit embarrassed about this one. I'm definitely going to have to redo it. But I wanted to make that Balenciaga shirt that looks like this. But first off, it's completely off-centered. I totally screwed this one up. And like I said, having something this intricate to cut out is not going to be the best result when you print it on a t-shirt like this. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this process. I'm also very much considering remaking these t-shirts with my photos on it as some sort of merch because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for some new stuff. Honestly, I love this photo and this design. There are a couple of other ideas that I can definitely make using my own photos. However, this is not gonna happen unless I know that you guys are interested. So if you are, make sure to leave a comment down below that you would purchase one and we can definitely see what we can do. As always guys, don't stress, finesse, peace.